Hi everyone! So I first want to say Happy New Year. This is my first video of the New Year 2024. I didn't really intend to take like a two week break, but I don't know. It was kind of nice just relaxing, not worrying about weekly melting baskets and empties. Even though it's funny because my last one of the year in December, I was like, oh, I'll probably continue these on into the new year. But I don't know. I've just been kind of in the mood for melting whatever I feel like for the day, not really sticking to any particular melting basket theme. So we'll see when I feel inspired, I'll probably probably film those again. But for now, I'm just kind of mood melting. Um, so yeah, I hope you had a happy holidays and a happy new year. Um, I'm filming just in my kind of reading nook area and the dishwasher is running just in case you hear a little bit of background noise. But what I'm going to do is film, I guess this is kind of like, um, the last two weeks of empties from whatever my last melting basket was. Um, so I was thinking, should I go back to monthly empties, but maybe I'll do like bi-monthly so then it doesn't I don't have to accumulate too much things throughout the month and then I kind of start forgetting how things performed so maybe like bi-monthly empties we'll see for now I don't know I might switch it up but I've got this basket as well as a couple non-empties and some more wax in front of me that didn't really fit into the basket so let's get started I'm going to do these two Scentsy items that are right in front of me. So the first one is Frosted White Pine. I really enjoyed this. This was a really nice holiday blend. Very long lasting. I guess it smelled kind of like pine. I don't always like white pine, but this one I really liked and it did definitely give me holiday Christmas vibes. And to me, it made it feel like when I would walk downstairs and smell this scent it seemed like i didn't have an artificial tree like it felt like i had a real um christmas tree so i enjoyed that a lot and it was long lasting um this one i finished up this brick of holly jolly cider this one to be honest wasn't anything too special here let me hold it like this this is what it looks like on the back this one wasn't anything too special but i loved the packaging to be honest this is why i got the whole like five pack of holiday bricks this year. I thought this packaging was so fun, so cute. Um, but yeah, this wasn't necessarily a memorable scent to me. I finished it up, but it's nothing I would jump to repurchase in the future. Um, I am warming another Scentsy Brick right now, which I'll talk about in, you know, a future empties when I um, finish that brick up, but that one I'm liking more just as a sneak peek, it's like the orange one. So yeah, nothing special about this one. Didn't like or dislike it necessarily. Um, we have, also I like kind of trimmed some bangs, sort of by accident. I didn't mean to trim them this short. So if I'm messing around with them, sorry if that's bothersome. Okay, so let's do, do I have other swanky? Okay, yes, so let's not do this. I have one Bodies Harmony scoopable. Bodies Harmony is now closed. I think they closed in the summer of 2023. So like about six months ago. This one was a scent that I actually had from their winter or Christmas advent calendar. Probably 2022. I don't think it was last year. But um, I loved it so much, the little tiny scoopable that came in the advent that I picked this up during her customs. So I really liked this. Surprisingly, so it's sugar cookie royale, pumpkin sugar donut, and sugar cookie dough. I know this past year I really wasn't a fan of the sugar, pumpkin sugar donut, but this on warm smelled so decadent and delicious. And surprisingly, pumpkin sugar donut wasn't like the standout note on warm on cold i was a little nervous because all i smelled was the pumpkin sugar donut donut but on warm it was really amazing and those other like sugar cookie notes came out i've got a couple of candles from the keeping room this is just a little sample of paulo's strawberry patch i wish i was able to get a full-size tart bake of this but i don't think it was ever available during times that i ordered 
but this was a really really nice sample loved it um palo santo and strawberry is a good blend okay strawberry jam oh and a lot of these that you'll see if i hadn't shown them in past melting baskets like the holiday melting baskets i did most of these that i grabbed were like almost gone like a lot of the candles from the keeping room were from past melting baskets where i only had a couple tarts left so it's not like i really went through all of this in the past two weeks a lot of it and i'm working through my current like half empty wax stash before i kind of break into stuff that i haven't warmed at all so yeah strawberry jam this one was really nice strong very long lasting um a really nice strawberry blend carol has very 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 amazing strawberry blends and they're all super strong so i really enjoyed this obviously this is different than her fresh picked strawberries but it was really really nice i enjoyed that a lot pink frosted cake this is a scent that honestly i'm not a huge fan of i think i thought i would have I think I thought I liked it more when I first got into wax, but I definitely like other bakery blends over pink frosted cake nowadays. So it was good. It was a good performer. Um, nice, but just not a favorite. Strawberry pound cake a la mode. This was amazing. So strong. Loved this one. This one was a little, little bit um, not as long lasting as some of Carol's other blends, but it was like, it's so strong when you initially warm it. It is really amazing. I love this one so much. And I think I have another one in my collection, which I'm glad. This one is Halloweeny Zucchini. I remember I only had like one tart left in here. Um, this is a really nice zucchini bread heavy blend with just a smidge of sweetness. It's basically, yeah, it says the scent notes on here, sweet candy corn and zucchini bread. I've never really in any wax melts that I've had before really noticed a candy corn scent and I mean even when you smell candy corn it's got kind of a generic sweetness but it's not a super noticeable or standout kind of scent but I did notice like it wasn't just pure zucchini bread but it had like a little bit of sweetness that was just kind of like a generic sweetness i guess but i really liked it i bought it honestly for the name alone halloweeny zucchini it's so cute we've got wildberry mousse flapjacks carol has a really really nice wildberry mousse um i liked this one a lot let me see what i wrote i can't really see with the ribbon okay yeah i like carol's wildberry mousse I think I picked up this one, the one with the flapjacks, because at the time that I was making a purchase, this was like one of the only Wildberry, but I believe I like her Wildberry, like her Tiffany's Wildberry cupcakes or something more. I think that was a sample that I warmed, which made me want to go in and check out some of her Wildberry blends. So I at least got my hands up on this one. Um, and I did like it. I just feel like I'd prefer a different bakery rather than the flapjack, but it was enjoyable. I really liked it. Jelly filled homemade biscuits. Um, this is a really nice jelly bakery. Um, her biscuit bakery blends are really, really nice and not too bready or yeasty. That was what I was a little afraid of. I don't like I would rather have a sweet bakery than like kind of a savory, more yeasty bread leaning bakery. And her biscuit is very nice. Like it's definitely not too bready. It smells more sweet bakery. So I enjoyed this one. This one's Tiffany's Strawberry Cupcakes. This was amazing. I loved this very nice blend of the strawberries and cupcakes at Tiffany's. Super strong, long lasting blend. You cannot go wrong with her strawberry bakery. Um, any more candles from the keeping room? No. Okay. I've got a couple swanky. So this one is just a little sample that I had in strawberry milkshake. This was really strong and long lasting for how small this scent shot is. Strawberry milkshake kind of smelled like summer scoops to me. Um, I enjoyed it. Pink diamonds. This was some kind of pink sugar bakery blend. I think I got it from my wax swap with summer. Or sorry, not a wax swap. Oh my gosh. She gifted me some wax. And I think she sent this in that gift. Um, 
random act, random act of kindness she sent me. Um, this was amazing. I love pink sugar bakery blend. So I really liked it. This was really nice. I'm assuming this came in some kind of sampler because this size scent shot usually comes in samplers from Swanky. New Year's Eve 2024. Again, this was a little sample. So strong. I think I warmed this on New Year's Eve actually just because I found it and I was like, oh, well, this is a very appropriate scent for New Year's Eve. So strong. Amazing. This was like a really fruity forward scent. I think Volcano might be in here. I'm not sure, but it was really strong for how small this was like the tiniest sliver of a wax sample and it was really strong elf candy i've worn this before it's like a, a minty bakery um to me it smells kind of like a minty um dusty like almost like a butter mint or a candy cane bakery really nice i enjoyed this a nice um holiday kind of a scent although it doesn't have to be holiday because you could kind of do mint any time of year, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. And I've warmed that one before. This is Mountain Fresh Pine. This for sure was super strong and long lasting. I changed this after like one whole day and I've actually been better about just leaving wax the whole day rather than changing it halfway throughout the day um, because I used to do that even when it, I could still smell the wax. This one I think could have lasted like multiple days in the warmer. I just felt like changing it, but it was so strong. I feel like it mainly smelled like laundry. I don't know if I could have pinpointed the pine, but it was such a nice, strong, clean, fresh laundry scent. So I liked it. Okay, I think that is all my swanky. Um, I have one lavender and speckle. This is Santa cheeseburger. I think this was in my last melting basket. Um, this is a really good chocolate bakery. I enjoyed it. Um, good throw. This is another one I kept in the warmers all day long. I just, if I was busy, I just didn't bother changing it. So I enjoyed it. It wasn't so chocolatey. Like if you're not a huge fan of chocolate, it wasn't like super, super chocolatey Tootsie Roll just because there's so much other scent notes in here, but you could smell it. So if you don't like chocolate at all in wax, I would probably um, avoid this one, but I don't feel like it was too heavy or overpowering chocolate. Um, okay, let me go through these two Dessas and then I think I need to change my camera battery because it's like, looks like it's almost dead. This one is chestnuts roasting on an open fire Christmas tree farm. Um, I really, really liked how this smelled on cold. This was a little um, small loaf custom, but for whatever reason, I didn't get a good scent throw. And I feel like I've been hearing people say this lately. I've heard Jenny from Just Jenny also say some of her desses has been a little bit on the lighter side. For some reason, I just didn't smell this one a whole lot. So I loved, I loved these two notes. I loved how it smelled on cold, but it wasn't super strong. This one, however, was better. And I think this one, because even the labels are different, these were both custom mini loaves. This one though, I did smell a lot stronger than my other custom. It was really nice. I really got the tree note and a bit of the bakery. I loved this one and I would definitely consider making this blend again. So I don't know if it was a specific pre-order that some of the scents were lighter. That could be the case. I'll have to pay attention more to maybe the color of the labels because this one did really good and I loved this one. Okay, so I'm gonna pause really quick, change my camera battery and we will go through the rest of the empties. All right, so the next um, vendor we will go over is Sassy Girl Aroma. This one is Peppermint Twist. I think this was in a past melting basket, so I only had a couple, probably two rows of the brittle left in a lot of these Sassy Girl Aroma ones I'm gonna share. This was so strong. Very chilling, nose clearing peppermint. Sometimes I would mix this with a bakery. The last time I warmed it, I did it on its own. It, it is so strong. It honestly, even kind of puts a chill on your skin when you're sitting in the room, at least in my office, because I warmed this in my office the last time, which is a smaller room. I think if it was in a bigger open concept room, you wouldn't get that effect as much, but it was that strong where it was like almost like chilling to my skin strong. So that'd be a great one if you're like sick, you really want a nose clearing strong peppermint. Adam's Beach Party, this is so good. I really like this. Um, this was, 
to me, maybe a little bit more beach night heavy, um, but really, really good. I enjoy this a lot. And I actually, I think I've shared a haul where I got like a couple more of these brittles because I liked it so much when I tried it out. So really good. I think it's a popular blend of hers, especially like just her beach night blends in general. Grimebuster, so strong. This was like, this would be a great spring cleaning scent because it was like a fruity laundry, a very bright fruity laundry. Very good throw, like so, so strong. This is another one laundry, just like that swanky one that I think this could last like multiple days in the warmer. Um, I really enjoyed this. This was really good. Brandy. This was a really nice bakery. It's honestly not super special on its own, but sometimes you just want a, a staple bakery that's like not anything too crazy, not too many scents all blended together. Sometimes you want just a more simple, straightforward, nice bakery. And this is one of them, you know, really nice on its own, good blender. Like this would be a good one to blend with that super, super strong peppermint. If I wanted to tone it down a little bit and just make it a little bit more sweet and bakery. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really liked this. I thought this was nice. I don't think I have any more of this in my collection, but I do have other just sort of generic bakery blends from Sassy Girl Aroma, and I tend to really like them. Santos Royale, Santos Royale. This is really, really nice, strong. Um, I think this is like a dupe to the L3. Today is October 3rd, I think. Um, I believe I like the L3s just a smidge more because I love L3 Sugar Cookie Royale. Um, I don't think they... I mean, they're similar because they're similar scent notes, but they do smell different. This one, I think the Palo Santo is a little bit more maybe on the smoky leaning. Um, and for some reason, I like Palo Santo. I've definitely warmed up to it over the years. I used to not like it at all. Um, but I did notice sometimes Palo Santo blends can be headache inducing for me. Um, it just depends, like if I'm a little more sensitive that day or not. Um, but I enjoyed it. I, I liked this to the point where like I would maybe repurchase this one um, if I was ordering from Sassy Girl Aroma in the future. But I do think I like the L3 one better. Okay, here is some L3. This one is Strawberry Pound Cake Buttermilk Pie. I don't think I love the Buttermilk Pie blend. It's just so like sicking, sickingly sweet. Did I even say that right? Sickingly sweet, S sicking, S S I don't know. It's just so sweet that it's just too much for me. And I love bakery. It's just like got this syrupy sweetness, not maple syrup, but like the syrups you add into like coffee flavor, you know, for coffee flavorings. It's just so sweet. Um, I would prefer a strawberry pound cake bakery mixed with something else. It just left this super, super sweet, kind of artificially sweet scent lingering in the air and I just didn't love that. Diet starts Monday. Um, I love Santa's on Keto. So that blend is in here. Cotton candy frosting, sugar cookie royale, Santa's on Keto, sugar shortbread. Um, for some reason, this blend, I can go nose blind to really quickly. So at first I thought, is this light? Is this because of age that I can't smell this. But when I walk out of the room and come back in, it's strong. So for whatever reason, this bakery blend in particular, as I'm sitting in a room, I don't smell it. But then when I'm walking out of rooms, I can smell it strongly. Um, and it's really good. It's a really, really nice bakery. Okay, then I have some where it's just from a single vendor and then we'll go into the non-wax empties. This one is Teddy Bee's Strawberry Lover's Dream. When I got this in, I remember I didn't love the strawberry on cold, um, but when I warmed it, I definitely liked it. I liked it more when I melted it. I felt like I could smell some of those other bakery notes like the sugar cookies. Is it a favorite strawberry bakery blend? No, but I do really like it to the point where I would maybe rebuy it again in like a souffle. I don't think I need it in a large size, especially because I have other strawberry bakeries that I like more, but I definitely enjoyed it. And I would say it's like a medium. It was a pretty decent throw for Teddy Bees. Milk and cookies for Santa. This is so, so good. Um, 
pretty eggnog heavy, honestly, but it's so good. Um, I really, really enjoyed this around the holidays. It was a very, very nice, strong bakery. And I don't personally like to drink eggnog, but this was so, so good. I like that. I like the scent of it. Unicorn berries. This is a loaf from Southbound. I've had this for so long. Finally finished it up. Smelled really, really nice fruity berry blend. It says blackberry, blueberry, extra strawberries, and cotton candy marshmallow. But to me, it actually smelled more like a blueberry heavy blend. Um, but I really liked it. More of like a candy blueberry. Um, and it was really nice and really good throw. And then the last um, wax I have is a large clam from the bathing garden in Pucker. This was a really, really nice. Even though it says Pucker, I feel like it was more of a sweet lemon. It wasn't like a tart sour lemon in my opinion. And it was really, really nice. Um, nice to kind of do in between after all those kind of heavy holiday um, bakery and Christmas tree scents. It was nice to kind of refresh my nose with a more bright, clean lemon scent. I've got two candles. This one is Fresh Balsam from Bath & Body Works. Both of these are their three wick candles. Um, really, really nice. You can't go wrong. Fresh balsam is a great one during the holiday time, especially when you have an artificial tree like me. I warmed this or maybe this other one I'm about to show um, on Christmas Eve when, it, when we had company and I just thought it was really nice because again, with an artificial tree, it kind of almost smells like you have a real one. So Christmas tree scents always do pretty well throughout the whole candle life. And then this one was Tree Farm. Love this packaging. I'm pretty sure I got this from like a semi-annual sale last year and just hung on to it. Um, again, can't go wrong. It even still smells kind of like the Christmas tree. So really liked this and liked the aesthetic of the candle. I liked that it was clear so you could kind of see it as it was burning. Oh my gosh, my stomach's growling. It's almost lunchtime. Okay, I use some of these little Boom Boom Brazilian Boom Boom Cream Sol de Janeiro. This was in a little like sample set. And there's also a spray, which I'm actually almost out of that as well, but not quite. So that's not an empty for this video, but really, really liked it. I wanted to use this quicker because I had a little Boom Boom Cream um, sample size and I think it went old. It just the consistency wasn't right. So I thought, you know what, let me just use this right now so it doesn't kind of go, go bad. Um, really, really nice. When you have these kind of moisturizing shower gels, they don't tend to lather as much as other shower gels, but it's still, you're, you can work it up to lather. Um, and I really liked it. It's a really amazing staple scent. I would definitely repurchase like little sample sizes again to bring on like vacations. Um, really enjoyed. I've had the scent. I've had the boom, boom boom cream before. Enjoy. This one is a It Confidence in a Cream face cream. I've been super into wanting to try different skincare. I actually just made a purchase from Tatcha, which I may share. I know it's not a wax or a planner, um, which is kind of more the videos that I tend to do on this channel, but I might do the Tatcha skincare haul because I got quite a bit, mainly um, different like sample, um, not sample, but like trot, trial i don't know it's they're like i can't think of the word now but they're like the little sets that basically you can try out a lot of their different products so and also they were doing like a little deal where you got like a free mystery bag or something like that so i might just do a video on it just for fun like a haul but yeah i've been kind of into skincare especially in the winter my face gets so dry and tight after i shower um but I've always loved this, the It Cosmetic Cream. As you can see, I really used it all up. Um, I even have more of this. I also like the nighttime one. I forgot what it's called, but it's in like more of a blue like indigo jar. That one's super, super nice too. So this has been a repurchase. I love it. It's just I've been kind of having fun trying out different skincare. I've also tried some Drunk Elephant recently too. Um, and I've, I've been liking that as well. Um, I'm almost out of my Christmas cookies um, body wash or shower gel, I guess is maybe what they call it, but not quite yet. So that'll be in the next empties, but I did finish up the Christmas cookies ultimate hydration body cream. This is such an amazing 
scent. It's such a decadent, yummy, delicious um, bakery gourmand scent. I like this probably more than Vanilla Bean Noel, but Vanilla Bean Noel is like a close second. This one I think is stronger than Vanilla Bean Noel. And if you like Vanilla Bean Noel, I think definitely give Christmas cookies a try. It's really, really good. Um, and then I've got one soap in Harvest Gathering. I think I, this was kind of one of the last fall time foaming hand soaps that I was going to use for this year. Oh, it's not focusing. There it goes. Um, I had this out actually during Christmas Eve when we had guests over and I remember my husband, one of my husband's cousins was like, Ooh, this smells so good. You're so into like the scents and stuff. So I remember someone actually mentioned like that they liked the scent. And then the random empty of the video is just a, um, empty pen. This is all gone. This is probably one of my favorite pens in line, maybe slightly second to the um, Energel Klena pens, but this is the Pilot Precise V5 RT. And this is such a good pen. And it's got kind of that like needle, needle tip gel pen. It's really, really nice. It's one of my favorites. So that is my wax and non-wax empties. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.